This is the set part four. This is 3.2. We're finding the domain and range. So for each graph, state the domain and range and use interval notation. So I'm going to just review a little up here. Domain is our x values. And we write our answers as the left value, comma, the right value. And range is our y values of our graph. And we write those as bottom value to top value. When we have a closed dot, we use brackets. When we have an open dot or infinity, we use parentheses. So here's our first graph. We want to find out how far right and left the graph goes. So here's the edge of it, left, where x equals negative 1. And then the edge of that right is positive 1. So that's my domain. Negative 1, comma, positive 1. That's how far left the graph goes and how far right. So our graph is the interval in between negative 1 and 1. Since those are closed dots, we use brackets. Alright, range is the y value. So I'm going to look at my y-axis and see how low does the graph go. And that's y equals 0. And then how high the graph goes. And that one's a decimal, so they actually give us the answer right there. 6.667. And we have all closed dots, no open dots. So we put brackets around those numbers. So these are the intervals in which our graph lies. Alright, so 6 is similar on 7. I want to remind you that when you get a graph that goes to the edge, you use arrows at the end. And this one is going to have infinity in your answers down here. Because remember, your graph goes on forever and ever and ever past that. Forever and ever and ever past that. So how f I want you to think about how far left will it go, how far right, how high, how low. That's what domain and range is. And on some of these, if you can't see an exact number, just get as close as you can.